welcome back in this uh, video I am going to give you a brief explanation a step-by-step -step explanation on how you can calculate oxidation number of an atom oxidation number of an atom in a compound however there are basic rules laid down by the IUPAC, International Union of Physical and Applied Chemistry, for the calculation of oxidation number. Based on this rule laid down for the calculation of oxidation number, we are going to use these rules step by step to show how oxidation numbers are calculated. In that case, I am going to give you the rules and uh, um, solve some few examples on how this is done. Rule number one. The rule number one is element element in its free state or a neutral state. Element in its free state or neutral state has an oxidation number of zero. Has an oxidation number of zero. Element in its free state, we have sodium. We have magnesium, we have aluminium, we have sulfur, we have um, uh, oxygen, uh, uh, yeah, we have sulfur, or let me just say aluminium, uh, we have uh, calcium, uh, we have uh, potassium. These are all uh, these are all elements in their free state or neutral state. And they have an oxidation number of what? They have an oxidation number of, of uh, zero, including molecules. Chlorine, uh, you can talk of um, chlorine, hydrogen, and even oxygen. Chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen. All these elements in their free state, they have an oxidation number of zero. Oxidation number of zero, 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 zero. Yeah. Rule number two. Rule number two. Oxidation number of neutral molecule always equals to zero. A neutral molecule. I've just mentioned it. A neutral molecule, like let me say, um, uh, let me say, oxygen that the uh, oxygen is a neutral molecule, hydrogen, to which I also mentioned uh, chlorine. All the uh, oxidation number of a neutral molecule is what? Zero. That is the oxidation number. Rule number three. Rule number three. All group 1A elements the alkali metals. All 1A elements, or the, what we call the alkali metals, they have an oxidation number of plus one. We have, uh, let me say, uh, sodium, uh, potassium, uh, uh, sodium, potassium, and the rest. All of them is our group 1A element group. 1A elements. They have an oxidation number of plus one. And this is equivalent to their charge. So they have an oxidation number of 1 plus 1. Plus 1. So all elements belonging to group 1A, the alkali metals, they have an oxidation number of plus 1. This is equivalent to the charge on them. Rule number 4. All group 2A elements, alkaline earth metals, the alkaline earth metals, they have an oxidation number of plus two. All group two A elements, group two A elements, they have, for instance, group two A elements are, I think, uh, we have uh, uh, magnesium, we have calcium, barium, and the rest. The, all of them, they have an oxidation number of plus two, which is also equivalent to their charge. Plus two. Plus two and plus two. 
Rule number five. Group three elements have oxidation number of plus three. Group three elements, example is aluminum. They have an oxidation number of plus three. All halogens, all halogens, or uh, all the halogens or group seven non metals, all halogens or what we call the group seven non metals, the halogens, they usually have an oxidation number of negative one. But it is positive when combined with oxygen. They have an oxidation number of negative one halogens. Oxidation number of negative one. But I said it is positive. But positive when combined with oxygen. When combined with oxygen. For example, but positive. But positive when combined with oxygen. For example, um, fluorine. If we react fluorine, it will be F2O. The oxidation number, all halogen, they have negative one, but positive, but positive when it we have plus one when it comes to reacting with oxygen. Because they are more electronegative, they are, they are more electronegative than, uh, than, uh, the, than oxygen. Halogens, for example, fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. In that case, it has a positive um, oxidation number when in combination with uh, oxygen. For example, this here the oxidation number of halogen here will not be negative one again, will be plus two. It will be plus it will be plus two because it is plus one. Plus one, plus one times two will be, will be equal to plus two, and oxygen will be negative two. So when combined with oxygen, it is uh, when combined with oxygen, it is it is plus one. So that when you multiply plus one times two will be plus two, then oxygen is negative two, make a total of zero. Now, uh, rule rule number rule number number seven. Oxidation number of an ion or a radical. Oxidation number of an ion or a radical is equal to the charge on it. For example, there are moon atomic, there are moon atomic uh, ions and there are polyatomic ions. We will come to polyatomic ions. So, oxidation number of an ion or a radical is equal to what? Is equal to the charge on it. For example, I, I said uh, sodium, uh, magnesium ion, uh, aluminum ion, uh, the cabinet. Uh, Two minus sulfate, uh, two minus nitrate. The oxidation number of this are uh, non-atomic ion. These are only atomic ions. Okay, now, now for these ions, the oxidation number of ions like this is what the oxidation number is equal to plus 1 because it is equal to the charge on it. The oxidation number here is plus 2 because it's equal to the charge on it. The oxidation number oxidation number is plus 3 because it is equal to the charge on it. The same with this. The oxidation number for this polyatomic ion is what? It is 2 minus. Uh, 2 minus and uh, minus. Oh, let's go uh, or even chloride, even chloride, chloride, the oxidation number is what? It's negative one because it's equal to the charge on it. That is the oxidation number of ions or radicals. Now we are going to rule number seven, uh, rule number eight. Oxidation number of oxygen is negative two and negative one in peroxides. Peroxides. Oxygen in peroxide. Oxygen in peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, in hydrogen peroxide, in hydrogen, for example, in hydrogen peroxide, the oxygen number of oxygen is negative two. Oxygen here is oxygen is equal to negative two, 
oxygen is equal to negative 2 and um, the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2 and uh, negative 1 in peroxide. You know quite well that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. But when oxygen is, when calculating the oxidation number of oxygen in the peroxide is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be, it is, excuse me, it is supposed to be negative 1. Uh, rule number rule number nine rule number nine here before we go to the calculation rule number nine the oxidation number of fluorine is negative one the oxidation number of fluorine is always negative one uh, rule number ten the sum of oxidation number for neutral compound is zero the sum total of uh, oxidation number let me say a neutral element like sodium uh, chloride the sum total, the sum total of the oxidation number, this is a neutral compound. This is a neutral, uh, neutral compound. The, the oxidation number of, uh, of uh, the, the oxidation number, the oxidation number for in this, the sum total of it is equal to zero. Why do I say the sum total? Because oxygen it is a group, one a uh, element, uh, alkali metals, so it is plus one. This is halogen, it is negative one, and therefore it is equal to zero. That's why we say the sum of oxidation number for neutral compound is equal to zero. Okay, again, the sum of, of uh, the sum of oxidation number for polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on it. For example, we have carbonates. The sum of the oxidation number in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on it. For implying that if you want to calculate the oxidation number of carbon here, it would be carbon, oxygen is negative two, negative two times three will be equal to negative six, which is equal to what? It is equal to the uh, equal to the charge. The sum of the oxidation number in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on it. And that is negative two. If we were to calculate for carbon, it would be carbon minus uh, uh, minus two times six uh, times three, which is six, equals to the charge, which is negative two. Then carbon here will be equal to what? Carbon will be equal to plus four. That's how we calculate that uh, we calculate it. Now, uh, uh, again, another example for it is manganese seven. Manganese seven, uh, manganese uh, potassium manganese seven uh, ion, which is this one, MnO four minus. If we want to calculate the oxidation number of manganese, here we say the total of the oxidation number is equal to the charge. We say manganese. This is manganese. Manganese oxygen is what oxygen is negative two according to the rule times four. Four atoms of oxygen will be equal to negative two times four is negative eight. Negative eight. So we will now say that this. We can say this minus two times what times four equals to the charge, which is equal to negative one. Minus two of oxygen times four, which is manganese minus eight is equal to minus one. Manganese now will be equal to what? Manganese here will now be equal to plus seven. That is the oxidation number of manganese. So the, what I'm trying to say is that the sum total of the oxidation number in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge. This is the charge. When you sum all these, you make it equal to the charge on the polyatomic ion. Let's see some examples. Uh, calculate the oxidation number. Calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in Calculate the number one, calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in ammonium chloride. This is ammonium, uh, ammonium uh, chloride. We want to calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in it. According to the rule, the sum total of the neutral molecules is equal to zero. So now, what is nitrogen? Nitrogen here will be, nitrogen here will be, nitrogen, uh, hydrogen, Hydrogen is uh, plus one, so it will be uh, plus uh, one, that's one, times what? Times four. Then 
hydrogen uh, uh, chlorine is a halogen, it's negative one. So negative one, which is equal to what? Zero. So we will be nitrogen plus what? Plus four. Uh, uh, four minus one is three. Uh, four minus one is the plus three. It's equal to zero. Nitrogen now will be equal to what? Negative three. We were to calculate for nitrogen will be negative three. So let's calculate for manganese. We just calculated for manganese. Let's calculate for uh, phosphorus in this compound, in this other compound. The relation state of phosphorus in this compound. The relation state of phosphorus in H2, uh, H2, P2, uh, O7, uh, P H2, P2. Uh, o seven two minus. We are to calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus in this compound. This is phosphorus. So how do we calculate it? Remember, the total of all this is equal to the charge. Remember, hydrogen is one. Remember, oxygen is negative two according to the rule. So now, what is next? The next thing will be uh, one times two. Yeah, two times one. Yeah, plus phosphorus. We don't know. Yeah, two uh, uh, phosphorus. We don't know phosphorus. Uh, we can say phosphorus is equal to two x. So we now say it's two x. Phosphorus is equal to two x. Okay. Uh, plus oxygen is what? Oxygen is negative two. Uh, neg negative two times seven. Negative two times seven. Then the rule is all of this equals to the charge. The charge is what? Negative 2. Now, it will be 2 plus 2x, which is for for phosphorus. Then, minus 2 times 7 is minus 14, which is uh, negative 2. But we add all, all this, it will be 2x, uh, 2x, uh, 2, 2x uh, minus 14, 2x uh, minus 12, 2x minus 12 is equal to minus 2. Uh, 2x uh, equals to what? 2x is equal to 10. 2x is equal to 10. Uh, 2x, this comes here, is uh, 12. 12 is equal to 10. x will be equal to what? x will be equal to 10 all over 2, which is equal to what? Plus 5. That means the oxidation number of phosphorus in this compound. Let's go to calculating oxidation number of sulfur in sulfates. Sulfur in sulfates. Sulfur in sulfate. In calculating oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate, uh, this is sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. We want to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate and so Now, Solve in this one and in sulfate SO3 uh, 2 minus. Now, what do we do? According to the rule, we now say solve for S. Now, oxygen, oxygen is negative 2, which is, uh, which is negative 2, ne negative 2, or we can just say the sum total S plus, sulfur plus, then negative 2. Negative 2 times 4. Negative 2 times 4. The sum total is equal to what? It's equal to the charge, negative 2. Solve 4 plus or solve 4 minus 8. Solve 4 minus 8 is equal to negative 2. Solve 4 now will be equal to what? It will be 6, uh, which will be equal to plus 6. That is the oxidation number of sulfur. That is the oxidation number of sulfur. Now we can calculate for sulfur in sulfate. Here the same thing goes, it will be sulfur. Let's solve the sulfur here. It will be sulfur. This will be sulfur. Sulfur plus uh, less than uh, negative 2. Negative 2 times 3. Negative 2 times 3. 
uh, which is equal to the charge, which is equal to the charge negative 2. Uh, so for now minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, which is a negative 2. Now so for will be equal to so right, will be equal to what? 6 plus 4. So for is plus 4. And lastly, you can calculate the oxidation number, as I earlier said, of manganese A and uh, manganese in this compound. Again, you can see manganese is uh, Mn, M, N, O, 4 minus, as we said earlier. What, is this? what are the steps? As we said, manganese is Mn, Mn, the oxygen is what? Negative 2. We will say plus negative 2 times 1 times 4. And the rule is what? The sum total of the oxidation number equals to negative 1. Negative 1. Now, manganese, manganese is what? Negative 2 times 4 will be equal to negative 8, which is equal to negative 1. Manganese will be equal to what? Manganese will be equal to plus 7. That is the oxidation number. And that is why we call the potassium manganese 7. Because of the oxidation number of manganese in the compound is 7. Arika, we will use this oxidation number. We can use this oxidation number in identifying in a chemical equation, in a redox equation, when given a redox equation, the first thing to know which of the species is reduced or which of the species is oxidized is by calculating their oxidation numbers. If you calculate the oxidation number in, in a redox equation, you identify which of the species or which of the atoms or which of the ions have been oxidized and which one have been reduced. By using that, you can now balance your equation. By now, you can determine which one is an oxidizing agent. By now, you can determine which one is a reducing agent. And from there, you can do other things like calculating the number of moles that are reacting and the, the, the number of moles that are reacting based on their mole ratios. So, oxidation reduction are very, very important. For students who cannot recall, you can use oxidation as loss of electron, loss of electron, and the reduction to be gain of electron. And that can be what we call the oil ring. The oil ring. Oxidation is loss and uh, reduction is gain. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue watching.